Hi Libra, how are you? I hope you're doing well. So instantly, um, I want to tell you to remember that you are not alone. Sometimes on this earth, on this planet, as a spiritual being having a human experience, it's so lonely. Star seeds, light workers, empaths, you're like, I'm feeling everything. I'm feeling everything. I'm feeling everything. Yes. We understand. I completely understand and I feel that and I get it. I get it. I get it. But I want you to know you are not alone. There are other people who vibrate like you. Also, Mother Gaia supporting you and your spirit guides of the light as well as your past and loved ones of the light as well as our archangels of the highest Christ of light in the middle path. All here. All here to surround us with love. Remember, you are actually never alone and you don't have to go through this alone. I promise. Queen of the Moon is really pulling me right now, which is very interesting because <laughs> I probably um, said this last week too, like I was trying to go with a plan, but no, it's like spirits guiding and pulling. So let's just go with what spirit wants you to know at this time. Okay, Libra. Um, yes, I get it. It's hard being some of the only people who like are able to not talk about the virus. And when I do talk about it, I'm like, oh, just wash your hands. I just need to take better care of myself. I need to psychically protect myself as well as physically and drinking tea, um, making sure I put food into my body that is nourishing, okay? What does Libra need to know? Spirit guides of the light, pass down loved ones of the light. There we go. Oh, have some faith, guys. Yeah, I love this. It's like in a world of, I don't wanna say a world of low vibration, but just like the energy we're in, this is a hard thing to, to actually do. You can say you have faith, you can say you trust the universe, but oh my gosh, it's like, what the heck is next? It's like that fear of the unknown, right? But we have to root ourselves, stay grounded in Mother Gaia, as well as call on our guides of the light at this time and just have faith that they have a plan. For us vibrationally, higher vibrational beings who are here to help raise the vibration of Mother Gaia, especially at a time like this, we have to keep the faith in our mission. We have to keep the faith in our guides and the universe and Gaia herself and trust that no matter what happens, the pathway is for us. Yes, there might be some bends and some hard times, and some shit we have to go through because right now what we're doing is we are going within and facing some serious shit but that's just gonna evolve us evolve us beyond evolve us above I see a lot of evolution and I felt like when I got into your energy a lot of you are feeling very alone it's because of this isolation but it also for me is very um eight of swords where she's blindfolded like so much lack of clarity but the only thing that binds her to these are herself her anxieties her worries her self-doubt you have to have faith in yourself first and foremost spirit mother Gaia the universe you are divine trust me you guys have got this I also love this because look it feels so femme. It feels so like there's the earth and Mother Gaia. Very nourishing. Just know that Mother Gaia is here to nourish you as well as your spirit guides of the light. Have the faith. I promise. So that makes sense why the Queen of the Moon wanted to talk to you. They were like, please, please, Libra, have faith. We got this. We got this. And I get it. there's a lot of unknown. Like I went back to that Eight of Swords. It's like blindfolded a lot of lack of clarity and a lot of what the heck do I do now <laughs> so let me tell you this is the perfect opportunity for you to go within but remember I will say what I've been saying to you every single sign all week yes I choose to go within I choose to learn about myself and heal what needs to heal but I am not entrapped I'm not quarantined here I can go out into mother Gaia you can't keep me trapped Okay, so just remember you can leave anytime you want to, but there is power in making that choice for yourself of going within. That is you not letting anyone take your power. I choose to go within and learn what I need to learn, find my path, and keep the faith. Wow, yes, absolutely, Libra. So let's see what the tarot has to say from our spirit guides of the light, passed down loved ones of the light, and our archangels of the highest Christ of light in the middle path. What does Libra need to know right now, spirit guides of the light? Oh, I heard one. There it is. I was like, something's coming. <laughs> I feel it coming. Ooh, 
yeah it's like final stretch that's that's the nine of wands for you is final stretch yeah guys it's like spirits like please please keep up the faith i promise whatever you're attracting this is another message too if you are trying to pull and attract something remember the energy we are in right now is very delayed okay so you yes you have something coming to you if you've been manifesting if there's something you truly desire that is a high vibration for the good keep pulling keep pulling yes there's a little bit of like delays but i promise it will come to fruition keep the faith spirits like i see you i see how many wands you're protecting i see how tired you are please keep going i heard go the distance you are almost there you're at that nine almost to a completion of cycle spirits just like please please hold on a little hold on a little longer i promise your blessings are coming in and i'm actually getting a uh, call to the wisdom of the oracle so we're going to go ahead and do that whoa and this just threw out which is milk and honey we'll see if that comes out again milk and honey is literally just having gratitude and joining the i don't want to say the finer things in life the necessities. Thank you. Spare us like finer things in life. It's it's not King of Pentacles in reverse where you're enjoying really, really nice things. It's like enjoying the life you have and living in the moment and having gratitude because what can shift and tip the scales for a higher vibration is gratitude. So if you are feeling exhausted, you feel self-doubt or you feel fear at this time, try to shift to gratitude. Keep your faith, guys. Spirit sees that you're tired and they want you to keep the faith so they can finish the cycle out with you and give you whatever you're attracting. Ooh messages for Libra? Oh, we got two, I think. No, just one. Okay. Yang. Oh yeah. Okay. So <laughs> the yang is our masculine energy. You can see the orange right there. Oop, my light just died. Excuse me. Anyways, we're going to keep going with it. The yang is our masculine energy. Our masculine energy is our powerhouse and of our abundance. It's where I keep my confidence my attraction for my abundance to actually manifest, power, house, masculine energy. Remember, we all have masculine and feminine energy no matter what ge and gender we identify as, okay? So with it, I'm holding it upside down. Is there a lack of balance in the yang? or an upgrade to the yang? I was like, why am I holding this upside down? I do tend to do things without noticing um, and spirit did call my attention to that so just know there might be a lack of balance if you're lacking this confidence in yourself this faith in yourself this is about you I'm tired I've been putting in all this work I'm doubting myself is it really mine is it really meant to be spirit wants you to say yes say it is already yours attract it keep pulling on it Libra it is coming in for you I promise this can also be an upgrade to that energy also I love that the hand is holding it like a big like confidence ball of fire and it's like oh here's your pinnacle here is it coming into fruition which it will spirit sees that you're almost there see spirit sees the work you've been putting in I see heaviness heavy 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 you've been putting in the work balance out that chakra, okay? Um, if you're feeling any self-doubt, just shift it. Like, I am powerful, I am confident, I am abundant. Keep attracting, guys, because it is yours. I promise, Spirit sees that you're getting there. Um, I'm compelled to draw one more tarot for that game card. We're just going with it. Libra, this reads fun for me. This is a good one. I, I like whenever Spirit takes the wheel and kind of just guides us with what we need to know at this time because I mean this is very very clear to me that there's a lack of balance you're having trouble manifesting but that could be just from the delays in the energy but for me it's just it, you feel like like you're doubting yourself and feeling very alone you're not I promise I'm here your spirit guides of the lighter here Libra I promise I'll get better messages for Libra what does the Libra Collective need to know from our spirit guides of the light, our passed down loved ones of the light, as well as our archangels of the highest Christ of light? Yay. Okay, you got three. We'll take it. Whoa. Emperor with hair font in reverse and strength. Holy major arcana. Guys, whoa. Um, so we have Aries energy, Sagittarian energy, right? Am I channeling that right? Or is temperance Sagittarian? Why am I getting sad with that? Who rules the hair font? Anyways, um, and then Leo energy. So I'm actually going to look at that. Who rules the hair font energy? Hey guys, I will always tell you when I'm like, what? Oh, Taurus. <laughs> okay, you little nut. Okay, so Taurian energy for me, the reader. Um, but again, I am in your energy. So this could be... More than anything, I'm getting that pull from Aries as well as Leo. But, I mean, hello, that is so much 
fire, a little bit of earth, but a lot of fire energy. And there's a wand too. There's yang, which is your passionate energy too. Mm, yeah, that's a lot of fire coming in. But the emperor, I love emperor energy. It's like just finally stepping into your own power. Also, I, for me, it's like you are coming into your own power. Trust me, once this manifests, you will be able to sit on your throne. You deserve it. Keep up your strength, your courage at this time. Know that you will be able to prevail. Call on spirit. Hierophant Reverso is breaking tradition. So with me, and also Torian for me, the reader. So if you are dealing with the Taurus energy, that could be it as well. But just, just saying. But anyways, um, for me, with this hair font reverse, it's like going against the grain and not doing things traditionally. I'm almost okay with that because I think that maybe you had a plan coming along through this and it's like the plan's not going to work anymore because let's be honest that low vibrational virus crushed all the plans it's like you may not even have a plan right now so this could draw attention to like even though you're out of routine making a small routine for yourself but like that's only for particular people but for me this is more of like the way you're doing this shit it's like it's not what people expected. I don't even think it's what you expected. It's definitely not what society expected. But spirit is like, keep up the strength. I promise you will rule. And when you rule, you are a powerful. I see also very like ace of swords energy right now. You speak your truth. You are able to communicate effectively. It's like, keep up the faith. This is coming in. And also look at how masculine that is like this could be you coming into a balance with your masculine and feminine it could be a masculine counterpart coming in as well that could be an emperor energy as well but for me this is you this is like you finally coming into that balance but very very select few could be masculine cower, counterpart as well but i'm okay with this it's like maybe your feminine's really really balanced and you're very very good about being nurturing loving and caring for others and able to be creative but then it like actually when it comes to manifesting or coming into your own power your own confidence you've been giving it away or you just have had a lot of self-doubt but that just could be the vibration surrounding us everything is in delay people are in a fear-based vibration it does not serve the highest good for anyone so that could be what that is as well but oh my god that is three major arcana coming in keep up the strength you are powerful enough to do it have the faith that you will rule and it might not be what you expected i heard not going according to plan but the, but come on i don't think this past couple months have gone according to plan but i love it so embrace the unknown spirit said embrace the unknown have the faith that you will be guided you will complete your cycle you will come to your throne and you have the strength to do it go the distance i heard go the distance let's get a wisdom of the oracle they really wanted you to see those three cards but yeah it's like this plan isn't going how you thought it would that's okay. Go with the flow. It's so, it's so much easier said than done as well, but it's so much easier for you to go with the flow with spirit rather than resisting. Don't resist because you are meant to be a leader. I hear leader. Yeah, that's a big deal. Especially if you're a high vibrational being, whether you're psychic, a star seed, however that resonates with you. Um, I did get a star seed pool for a couple of you. Okay. So just look into that. Yep. They're there. Woo. Oh, energy. I'm feeling you guys wow shit okay um these are a big deal <laughs> these are a big deal round and round and not for you okay so i want you to ignore this these are two specific cards talking about a specific thing for you so round and round is our karmic cycles a reminder that life is not linear. This human experience is not linear. We repeat cycles. We have things surface up from past cycles that we thought we healed. So is there something in your life, something that you've been doing over and over and over again? And finally, you step back and you're like, oh my God, this loop. Like, why am I still in this cycle? Why is this still happening? I feel like I, I've dealt with this before. Why do I feel like it's the deja vu? Why have I dealt with this before? Because you have. You have dealt with this before and you weren't able to break free from it before. But I don't doubt for a second that you're not strong enough to break free. Have the faith and know that spirit is supporting you. Don't get so caught up in this being a person. Get caught up in it being something that does not serve you. Maybe a way of thought even. You always 
always, maybe you always, I don't want to, this is for someone very particular. It's like you're always almost there and then you're like, oh, I'm not good enough or like all oh, the self-doubt comes in. It's like the lack of compassion and faith for yourself in that message. And it could be a person, it could be a career, it could be something that you keep repeating and repeating and repeating and it's like, I thought I fucking dealt with this, okay? So maybe you thought you dealt with it, but it was the cycle that was meant to be broken or teach you a lesson. And it's like, you're evolving so much at this time. You're evolving so much that it's like easier for it to fall off and know that your spirit guides of the light will assist you with this transition. Also, if it is meant to be, it is meant to be. If it falls off, not for you, right? It's like, oh my God, the fortune cookie here. It says, nope. I've never seen that. That's brilliant. Because you know what? When something isn't for you and you break out of this cycle like this, I love this imagery. It's like, look, look, and there's a game of chess being played. Yeah, it's like, it's like this cycle of you've been playing this game and you're like, oh my God, I'm tired of playing this game. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to break free from this karmic cycle. I've learned my lesson. I've healed. And look what is presented to you. There's a door with a divine being in it. It's like that, that's my door. And by releasing these things that do not serve you or by releasing people, places, things, however it resonates or this way of, for someone, it's really pulling this thought pattern, this way of thinking of yourself, this way of thinking about the universe, it just doesn't serve you anymore. And once you release that, you've made room for your door of opportunity to come in. You're, you're freaking emperor. Just knowing that you have the strength, you've already been through the ringer, spirit sees that, you have the strength to go through, it's not gonna be what you expected. But oh my gosh, spirit is supporting you. Have faith that it is yours, you are attracting what you deserve and your door will open. Wow. Yeah, for someone that is pulling so heavily on a thought pattern for me, it's like some of you are just now waking up and you're like, whoa, everything I thought, it just, it doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah, it's like, it's like going against society, which is probably for the best right now, right? Okay, so I'm going to stop my camera and then I'll be right back. Thank you so much, Libra. And as I was sitting down, I just wanted to also tell you if there's something you've been asking from spirit, um, you got the not for you card. It's like <laughs> whenever you're younger and you're like shaking the, the magic eight ball and it's like not for you and in your head you're like, but it's supposed to be for me. It's supposed to be for me. I feel like some of you are kind of going through that right now. So take advantage of the energy and go within and find out really, really what speaks to you and your soul. Okay. Remember we are spiritual beings having human experiences, human attachment and emotions are so normal, but they're for us to heal and move on and evolve past. Okay. Why do I want to grab queen of the moon again? Okay. <gasps> all over the place. I'm just going to give it a couple shuffles, even though we've already been in this energy. All right. What does Libra need to know? Spirit guides of the light, pass down loved ones of light, as well as our archangels of the highest Christ of light of the middle path. What does Libra need to know? Yep. There's another one. This is like the most <laughs> Libra. What's wrong? <laughs> this is the most all over the place read. What did I say? On your back. Thank you for that confirmation, Spirit. I'm so blessed when that happens. Yeah, it's like Spirit's like, hey, I see. I see what you've been carrying on your back. I also really, really like this card because she's not only carrying like beautiful greenery, beautiful ideas, good luck. There's also like bugs, legs, like just not so pretty stuff. And this message for me is always like half this crap isn't mine. Yes, some of it is mine. Some of it needs to be healed. You have a lot that needs to be healed, but it sounds like for me, you've been carrying a lot of other people's crap as well. It's like where in my life where in my life am I giving and giving and giving and giving, but I'm not receiving the flow back? Because that's how it should be at this point of your evolution. If something is not giving you energy back or there is no flow, then it does not serve you anymore, okay? So Libra, this is like spirit sees. Oh my God, spirit sees. Look at that. Look at how much you've been through. Spirit's like, I promise, I promise, I promise. There are delays. It is okay. Keep the faith because for once, I don't know why this is coming, but for once, like, don't give up. And I'm not saying you always give up, but I'm just saying, don't give up right before your blessing. I've heard that. I've just heard that in my mind. Like, 
Don't give up right before your blessing. Your blessing is coming in. Please keep the faith. Spirit knows and sees your resilience. And look at that. You are able to fight any of that. You've been carrying it all on your back. But for this journey, we must get lighter and we must release what does not serve us. That is all karmic right there. That is a lot of karmic energy. Woo! Guys, and then let's see what Mother Gaia has to say. So I'll give you the message I'll be giving all week, which is call on Archangel Raphael. Call on Mother Gaia. Heart chakra too. Lots of heart chakra stuff. I am so pulled right here with the heart. Like there is some very, very emotional human feelings, human emotions. And like spirit, spirit has been saying, it's like under, we understand, we understand, we understand that you are feeling those things, but you must release them in order to get lighter and bring in your blessing, which you will. Look at you, Emperor. I don't doubt that for a second. Okay, any messages from Mother Gaia? Call on Archangel Raphael, Mother Gaia, as well as focusing on Heart Center at this time, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit. Yes. So blessed. Oh, fuck. Hmm. My heart. Oh, oh, dear Lord. Yeah, I feel, I feel it. Okay. Loss, grief, sadness, resurrection. Resurrection for me is resurrections of old and past feelings. Damn, that's a lot of karma. Damn, this is something very human and very, 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 very painful. And I'm so sorry. You have the strength to get through it. Look at the power you come into once this is completed. But loss, grief, and sadness. For me, this is like, first off, let me say if anyone's lost anyone, like my heart goes out to you and just know that we are here as a community um, and I understand that pain and I'm feeling someone's pain, but someone is really, really hurting about this karmic cycle, which is okay. Like I said, this is for us to have our human emotions and heal through, but it's like this loss for you. It, it's pretty big as far as like what you thought your life was going to be. It's like this loss was part of your plan. The part of the plan that's like took a wrong turn or remember there are no wrong turns but took a wrong turn in your eye like something you did not expect. It was like your tower moment for me. Um, death is also coming in in my mind's eye too, okay? So this loss I actually want to get some clarity on. But anyways, it's, it's some sort of grief or sadness and for me it feels like it's this this not working out or it could be a loss of a person. Mm. Youch, Libra. I'm so sorry that you're feeling that energy. Um, just know that I have empathy for you and I, I, I get it. I get how much this karmic stuff hurts as a human. You're going to be okay though, I promise. Mm. Okay, so that Seven of Cups came in in reverse. There's that wrong turn. Oh my God. It's not wrong turn though. It's just a turn that you didn't expect. It was like you picked a cup and it's like this cup did not serve your highest good. And you picked this cup because of your human attachment or even just a karmic cycle. It was like, I picked this way because I was so drawn to it or this was part of my plan and I thought this was gonna work out. This is literally the cup you picked brought you loss, grief, and sadness. But just know spirit wants me to specifically tell you guys that every time you pick a cup, it doesn't matter. Spirit will always guide and support you and there are always lessons. Do not regret the lesson you've learned because you were going to have to learn it anyways. So you learned it in this lifetime and it's a little bit painful. But oh my gosh, I promise, I promise once this heals, which you will heal, a call on spirit right now. Please do not doubt yourself and your power because here is your powerhouse right here. Spirit telling you to keep the faith. You're coming into your own power as the emperor. Strength, strength, strength. And then just there's that, I want to call it my bridge. Like it's my bridge of like, the path just wasn't what you expected or what everyone else expected from you. Keep putting in the work. Um, this sadness and loss too, some of you are feeling very lonely once I got into your energy. It's like maybe this karmic cycle has ended for you if it has not yet. And it's like, oh my God, I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. You're never alone. Mother Gaia is here supporting you. There's a community of light workers, star seeds, people just like you. You're collective. Just know you are never actually alone. Okay, but I understand. I feel 
feel your heart chakra pull right now and I want you to know that, okay? Um, if this is even just like not, if it's just grief and sadness, a loss of like an old life, um, it, it's like, for me, it's like not as detrimental as some of the energy I'm feeling, but for someone it's like, the loss of like this plan, the loss of an idea. And you're like, oh my God, I, this is what I had planned. Here's where it went the wrong turn in your eye. But Spirit's like, mm -mm, no wrong turns with us. We brought you here for a reason. Here's your lesson, okay? Don't be afraid of picking the wrong cup. Spirit will guide you every single time, okay? So this cup you picked that was not for you, it's okay. You finishing up a karmic cycle and you're almost done. Spirit sees, sees all the stuff you've been carrying. Keep the faith. You will step into the emperor position and have a balance and be strong enough as well as your masculine energy, your power coming back. Whatever this is, you surrendered your power to it but you won't be surrendering your power anymore damn okay so like i said a call on archangel Raphael at this time um also mother gaia using her support and then uh heart chakra stuff okay so i was just going to say that um still please call on archangel Raphael. though lots and lots of healing needing to be done especially with this energy oh i'm so sorry this is heavy, heavy. But oh my god, the thing is, is like how heavy this is feeling on you guys, that's taking up a lot of space. And I want you to know it's okay to cry it out, it's okay to feel these things, but I want you to release it because once you do, you're making room for your blessing and your manifestation to come in. Keep the faith, you can do it. You're strong enough too. That's confirmation right there, you're strong enough too. Messages from our archangels of the highest grace of light. That's a lot of Archangel Raphael. Zatikiel is on top with gratitude. Oh my god. I threw so many cards, guys. Your angels are heavy, heavy, heavy right now, my loves. Okay, so I'm going to give that one more shuffle and try and keep a hold of your cards, okay? Whew. Messages for our spirit guides, oh, excuse me, messages for Libra from spirit guides of the light are archangels of the highest Christ to light in the middle path. Oh my god, guys, what is going on? Here, we'll take that one right there. Oh, also, underneath energy, Archangel Sundafon with evolution. Yeah, this is part of your cycle and you will evolve past it and the power you will come into, okay? Lots of Sandalfon coming in. Um, intention. Yep, yeah, there it is. Look at that. How much orange do I need in your read? Look at that. That is so, 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 lots of orange. So, so, so masculine. So powerful. So manifestational and attraction. Okay, so if you're healing this, you are going to heal this. Make it through the final steps for me. Once you heal through this, you have made room for this manifestation to come in. You being the emperor, you having the strength to get through it, keeping the faith, having faith that you know this will come in for you because there it is. There is that manifestation coming into pinnacle and then intentions. So make sure, I think I said this to you guys already though, but like if there is something you truly want, but you're so tired and so distracted, keep pulling on it. With I said with the delays, it still needs to be pulled on. It still needs to be manifested from you guys. And you guys will, I promise. So let's get in an affirmation from our spirit guides of the light. Um, okay, guys, uh, someone might want a personal read with me. So look into my uh, description about that. Someone's really, really pulling on me right now. Okay. So just know that I'm here to help. <laughs> All right. So let's see what the affirmations have to say. Spirit guides of the light, pass down loved ones of the light. What does Libra need to know? Affirmation for our lovely Libras. Oh, Libra. Oh, Libra, I feel you, love. You are so loved. Shit. Yeah, here's that bridge. Here's this transformation. Wow. I am transformed. Oh, shit, guys. I'm cussy in your energy, too. I mean, I'm, I've always so... Um, as my awakening kind of happened, it was like I started cussing more. <laughs> and then I have uh, one of my other psychic friends, like when we voice message each other, she starts cussing more. She's like, why do we just cuss at each other? I'm like, I don't know. Must be a power thing. I have no idea. Um, not in a negative way. We just like say fuck a lot or shit a lot. So whatever. I am transformed. I see the beauty of change. Everything I've been through transformed me into what I am today. I am 
so much braver. I am so much more caring. I am so much more emotionally intelligent. I am so much more open. I will continue changing and improving. I am transformed. Holy crap. Yeah, guys, it's like, here's what happened. Here's what has transformed me into this person I am today. I am so much stronger, so much more caring. I will set my intention and manifest everything I want. This is your transformation. Look at that bridge of breaking tradition, this bridge of like, oh my God, this is beautiful. It's, a, it's such a beautiful message, but it, this hurts. Like this was your wrong turn in your mind's eye, but this is a reminder that this, this is meant to be broken. This is the cycle you have been meant to be broken. It is part of your agreement for being here on earth, but the human emotion attached to it is what's hurting. A lot of you, please, please, please do some heart chakra work. Please, please, please do some heart chakra work. But remember that this, this is what transforms you into the emperor and for you to get this manifestation you've been asking for because it is yours and it is destined to you. You guys are beautiful Libra please please I'm here if you need me know that I love you I understand and I feel how you're feeling right now you can do it you have the strength to I'm so excited to watch you transform and you will oh my goodness thank you so much with love and light